Good morning, St. Francis, and good morning, people of God. It is Friday, the 10th day of February, 2023, Friday of the fifth week of the year, but also today we remember St. Scholastica, uh, the sister of St. Benedict, who, while St. Benedict was founding uh, one of the first, um, let's say, stable, com stable complexes of monasticism. Monasticism, monasticism had existed uh, before uh, St. Benedict writes his rule, uh, but he creates um, a more stable and more cooperative, uh, more homogeneous, more um, detailed way of living um, communally uh, apart from the world uh, in a monastery. Uh, so St. Scholastica basically uh, does the same thing for women in modeling after her brother Benedict. Uh, one of the great things uh, that uh, is a part of this of the story of Saint Scholastica and Benedict, which is kind of mirrored with Francis and Claire in, in one in one point, is that um, uh, Benedict was visiting Scholastica in her monastery, and they were having such a wonderful time in their conversation that she did not want it to end. Um, and so basically, she prayed to God for a rainstorm that would make it impossible for Benedict to go back to his monastery. And so they spent the night together talking about God and, and things like that. Um, did, were they eating too? I think that was part of the thing. And did they ever rest? Um, well, talking about God never really makes you want to rest. Uh, so I guess that they just kept talking through the night and then the rainstorm ended. And then finally Scholastica had enough of her brother and then sent him back to his monastery. Uh, so I always remember that again, siblings that get along with each other um, are sometimes never ever really want to part from each other, which is a very good thing uh, to happen in families. So um, we saw this, if, if you are on the Facebook for, for St. Francis, um, at night we had a picture of the memorial garden uh, shown. So here it is during the day. And then over here, as, as I walk, because we need to do the reflection too. Uh, over here, there was also another picture on Facebook last night of the new addition to the Columbarium, which I don't know, yeah, I, I think that I did this. I might have seen it from afar, but, um, but this is the new addition to the Columbarium. Um, so nobody's in it yet, uh, but, uh, but it's kind of nice. Different kind of lighting that we have out in the memorial garden itself. But, the, uh, uh, but again, a very nice addition you know, to this in the daylight and it is daylight um, it was raining a little bit this morning but the clouds are beginning to break a little bit so uh, we'll see uh, what happens um, so anyway in today's um, in today's uh, readings uh, the first reading uh, again now moves into Genesis 3 uh, tricky dip difficult complex Genesis 3 uh, which so many people use as sort of a blueprint uh, for um, why humanity is the way that it is and why our world is the way that it is and and why we should have rules and regulations to deal with a God in the way that our God is um, much more complex than just that uh, that uh, we hear in Genesis 3 uh, the great disobedience which was eating a piece of fruit that you weren't supposed to eat um, so you know again looking at everything else that's happened into this world um, coming from that and le letting that be what it is, is is a tad bit extreme in some ways there are many theologians today who will say that again this woman uh, who ate the fruit again whose name is not Eve yet it is not even to the until the end of this chapter um, was seeking knowledge and she was punished for it. Um, so it's again something else to think about again the way that we, we, we look at our faith and the way that we can look at what it is that we've been taught. Um, <clears throat> In any event, uh, it happens. Um, and again, this this, this uh, conversation between a talking snake, which again is also an element that is a bit absurd within it, um, but this this uh, engagement, this interaction between a talking snake, a woman, a man, a piece of fruit, a tree that they weren't supposed to eat from, um, you know, is, is revealing of many things. Um, if the woman was seeking wisdom, um, she also needed to know that she had that wisdom already because that was the thing that the uh, serpent promised, that they would know good from evil. You can't tend a garden if you don't know good and evil, what's good for the garden and what's not good for the garden, so it was already a part of them. And making made in the image and likeness of God also means that they would indeed um, have been godlike. Um, and again, another lie that the serpent gives. The problem is that you have two different creation stories and there is isn't anything in the first creation story or the second creation story that this kind of is attached to that speaks of our image um, or being made in the image of God. Um, so again, there's a whole lot of bumps that need to be sort of eased and understood before we go on and say the most terrible thing that we did was to eat a piece of fruit that we weren't supposed to eat. Um, uh, it, this story goes on and leaves us at a cliffhanger uh, in the sense that the men and women, the man and the woman realize they're naked, they, they sow fig leaves to each other, it becomes more comedic than anything else. Um, and then after 
after that, there is this whole issue of the um, uh, of, of God then appearing, you know, looking for them. Again, not a God out of rage, not a God out of anger, not a God out of seeking justice or punishment, uh, but basically a God who is looking for them because God wants to know where they are. And where they do, they go and hide. Um, and they hide in the bushes. And that's basically where we leave us uh, on this day, in this, in this first reading. We'll see what happens on Saturday, which means on Monday, I'll go ahead and I'll go back to this. Uh, but Saturday, this continues. Uh, we don't meet on Saturday, so uh, wait until Monday, keep the cliffhanger going. Um, the gospel uh, itself um, is that, uh, is, is, is that uh, wonderful gospel. Um, wait a minute. I am beginning to forget because I was so wrapped up in Genesis that I can't. Uh, the, um, uh, the, ah, we'll just stop. We'll stop with Genesis today. The gospel is also good uh, for a variety of reasons, but read on your own. Read on your own, and then we'll come back to all of this on Monday. And so may the Lord give you his peace.